So you can raise your hands if you'd want to go next. So I'll start with Yoel Zake. So tell us how you're feeling, how you're coping, you're coping up so far. So uh, tell us. Uh, hello, hello, guys. Uh, good morning. Uh, so yeah, I I just woke up like two minutes ago, <laughs> and I also went first yesterday, right? So yeah, uh, yesterday was a bit challenging. Um, as I said yesterday, I was uh, the day before that. I was reading on every topic that that was covered in the challenge, and I had familiarize myself in the concepts and ideas of everything and then uh, i uh, yesterday i jumped right into trying to implement the uh, challenge and trying to do the project uh, so i ran into some challenges and uh i did bother everyone on slack actually i dm'd a couple of people uh, i even posted on the uh, all all week two channel Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, a call just came in. That's why I asked. So, I I, I asked on the Slack, uh, the main channel on Slack. So I had a blocker when trying to uh, load the data because uh, the columns were not. Uh, I mean. The, the 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 data the rows had extra data than the columns allowed so i'm still facing those problems i tried to just uh, uh, go past that and like do also the airflow thing and then i ran into the i, I don't know how uh, how we resolved this yesterday but i ran into the uh, the, uh, there's no no command as pwd uh, error so that's where i'm at that's my blockers and yeah today i'm uh, planning on like fixing these two problems and then going forward with my project thank you thanks Sigil. uh did you try asking nana i see nana answering most of the questions did you try that Yes, I did try asking Nana, but um, uh, uh, she did give me an answer, but uh, I couldn't implement it. Uh, it wasn't. I mean, I knew I knew why the why the uh, error was coming. It's because I I didn't have uh, enough. Uh, I had more data than I had columns, and she said to fix it, but I didn't know how to fix it. <laughs> Okay, anyone who wants to help? Uh, I see Mikias. Mikias, do you know how to fix this? He's not speaking. Who else do we have? Uh, anyone who wants to volunteer to answer your question if not uh, we can go on to the next person but don't hesitate to reach out to everyone anyone on slack uh okay aaron is saying dm i will help you so it, it would be helpful if you uh if you could forward the answers on the slack channel as well so that uh everyone could see Okay, uh, next we have, I will pick uh, Ikram. Ikram, can you go next? Can you speak? And for the rest of you, you can also raise your hands or I'll just type uh, the next person. I would like to go on the comment section as well. Okay, good morning, everyone. You can't hear me, right? Yes, Ikram, good morning. Okay, actually, like the task uh, for this week is a little bit intense since I'm not familiar with uh, most of the terms in the project. Yes, I have checked a lot of resources and I'm trying to do to progress in the project. I have already set up the Airflow DBT and 
like most of the environment and I'm trying to load the data. So my today's task will be to progress in the data model and to, to load the data and to do today's task. Thank you. Okay, great. Uh, thank you, Ikram. And next we will have Yvonne. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, so this week's, this week's task is a little bit intense because I am not familiar with what we are doing also, uh, but I have been able to check the resources. I have been able to do the DAGs. I am still now writing the transformation DAG. And also I had a blocker in importing the data, but I have currently solved it. Yes, thank you. Today I'm planning on working on the DAGs and finishing. Yes, thank you. Okay, great. And then next we have Jara. Okay, Jara is saying his mic doesn't work. He'll type it, okay. So then we will have Beruk Bizwayo. Yeah, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, yesterday, I faced some challenges to install Airflow, uh, DAG, uh, but uh, uh, I didn't install that one. Uh, today, uh, I will install Airflow and the DAG, uh, trying to work uh, the, the remaining tasks. Okay, great. Uh, and next we have Olani, then Dorcas. Olani, you can speak up. Hello. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? Uh, do you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Uh, yesterday, I tried to run my airflow. Uh, and uh, uh, that will be okay for me. But uh, after installing uh, DBT in the airflow, uh, I can't, uh, I didn't know what I do next, and I stuck on it uh, because uh, I have no background uh, on uh, software. Uh, and uh, this is new for me. Uh, and if uh, anyone who was already familiar with uh, Pipeline, please uh, help me. Thank you. Okay, Lani, can you repeat your question so that everyone can hear and then so that they will help you also? Okay, uh, after I installed the uh, Airflow in the DBT, uh, I didn't know what is the next step to do. Okay, Ariel, can you help? Uh, you mean me, right? I'm sorry. Yes. I just came and I had a call, so I didn't listen to the questions. If if you could repeat it. Okay. Uh, after I installed the Airflow in the DBT. Uh, I didn't know, I don't know what uh, I'm going to do next. Hello, Olani. Hello, Dereza. Hello. Uh, Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. If you have uh, successfully installed the Airflow and the DBT, you can just try to load the CSV file to the database. Do you have installed the Postgres? Yeah, I already installed Postgres. Okay, yeah, but, yeah. but I do not know how to extract my CSV file. Okay, maybe we can talk in on the Slack. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Uh, next we have Dorcas. Hello everyone, um, good morning. So uh, yesterday I was able to install Airflow and DBT. I was facing some issues which 
spilled over to today morning, but I was able to solve them. And today I'm looking forward to loading the data and proceeding with the next tasks. I'm also looking forward to guys sharing their solutions instead of going to each other's DMs. Like we can just talk on the on the like public space that we can all see. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Dorcas. Next, we have Aaron. Aaron, can you speak up? If you can't, you can also type in in the comment section. So let us know. Okay, next we have ba Basliel. Uh, uh, yeah, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Uh, okay, so yeah, uh, like everybody said, I'm not familiar with uh, the tech stack that we use currently, so uh, I've been trying to get comfortable with uh, with Airflow and and understand what uh, how uh, the implementation will be. I think I'm at a similar with UAL, so if anybody uh, finds uh, if you find an answer, uh, do post it in the group. Yeah, thanks. Okay, thank you, Bas Leil. I hope uh, Yael will also uh, forward the answers to the Slack channel as well. And next we have Daniel Geta. Daniel Geta, if you can't speak, you can type in. Next we have Daniel Gush. Okay, Daniel Gere is saying uh, he can't speak. So Daniel Gush, you, you can go. You can go next. Hello, everyone. Um, I hope you are doing good. So so far, I was installing the DBT and uh, Airflow. So I had the uh, issues. Uh, I posted on the Slack with the help of the Nana. I can resolve the issue. Today I was uh, installing the Airflow and uh, I tried to run the, my first uh, DAG. So uh, my plan is to load the file on the Postgres SQL and to do the tasks mentioned in the interim tasks. So thank you. Okay, thank you, Daniel. Next, we have Elias uh, Sambeno. I'm out of Yes, you are. Okay, <clears throat> yesterday I tried to set up the, and install Airflow and DBT. I ran into a lot of debug files to, uh, trying to install uh, Airflow, but I managed to install it afterwards uh, then i set up my dbt now and uh, today i'm I look forward to do to load the data into uh, postgres and work on the interim tasks thank you okay great thank you alias and and also you can ask nana on the week two channel and also on the nana support channel i hope she's helpful i've seen uh, I've seen Nana answering some questions, so I think it's better to ask your questions there also. And next we have um, Fanuel, Fanuel Abebe. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, hi everyone. Uh, so yesterday, uh, I tried to add the DPT module to my project. I have already set up uh, Airflow to my project yesterday before. So after that, like I tried to go through the DPT model type, and uh, uh, for today, I'm going to do some models and transform the data. 
And before that, I'm going to load the safe file into the first question. So far, I haven't faced any blockers when storing the flow in the DT. But if I have any questions, I'll try to post it on Slack. I'm still asking questions, so I think I did start better than the last week, so I'm going to keep doing that. Okay, great. So, Fanuel, you're confident you'll be submitting all tasks for today, right? Uh, yes. Uh, this week is much better than last week because, like, I didn't manage my time well uh, the week before, but I'm trying to do better this week, and I think I'm, a, I'm in a good track. So, I'm optimistic about this week. Okay, great. I'm glad to hear that. And next we have Ferewa Yele. Hi, hello. Uh, I'm audible. Yes. Yeah. Yesterday was uh, challenging, and uh, I just tried to install Docker and uh, uh, so that's uh, also I try to install Airflow uh, with Docker. Yeah. Then uh, yeah, I'm um, just uh, I give some. Sorry, I don't know if it's my network, but I couldn't really hear what you said. So you can also type it in the comment section. And if it's your uh, if it's your earphone, maybe uh, fix it for the next stand up. Okay. And next we have Meron Muji. Hello, everyone. Uh... I am facing uh, the same issue as you said. Uh, I can't convert CSV file to data frame. Uh, I am slacking on that. <laughs> okay, thank you. I think most people are facing the same uh, the same issue as you. So again, please. Uh, can you please post your what you're facing on the Slack channel so that people can answer using the thread? Uh, so yes, and we have Berhan and Biniam raising their hand. So uh, Berhan, you can go first. Hello, everyone. Uh, am I audible? Yes, you are. Okay, so yesterday, like I went through hell, like <laughs> it's not exaggeration because like um, the airflow installation with the, with the Docker was like never get to work, like struggled for hours to get it to work, finally to work at the end of the day. <laughs> and afterwards I got compatibility problem with the DBT when I tried to install DBT and then like that also another scenario and then <laughs> at the end finally I get installed both of them and then the airflow running I was like jumping <laughs> and yeah it was rewarding at the end of the day but it was hell um and like I tried to like bring on the data which is which is only a small data which is shared in the slack so I tried to to load to load that try to write some dummy dog files and then try to run that and I was working on that finally. Uh, today I'll be moving forward to load that data into the Postgres database and then uh, afterwards the extraction and then the report. So I'll be working on that. Hopefully I'll, I'll be done. I'll be doing my best and yeah. For anyone I would say like, don't stop and, unless it gets working. <laughs> it always works for me and yeah, thank you. Uh, Berhan, thank you so much for taking us through your 
progress yesterday. I, I just love the way you explained it. And yes, and then next we have, uh, and also I'm glad uh, it, it's, it's, it's working for you now. So next we have Binia. Binia. Okay, can you guys hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, so same for me. Uh, it was like my first time working with Airflow and DAGs and everything. I'm literally new to data engineering. I was looking at the documentations and stuff. And also, I spent most of my time reading the research papers that were uh, given out in the on the challenges document of the project, generally of the UAV and the vehicle tracking systems. And I did that to understand the data more, you know, like rather than just working and you know, converting, doing just the task that we're given. I took more time to understand the data and then I read some of the documentations and watched videos and everything. And now uh, everything is set up for me. I have loaded the data and I am writing some code to transform it and you know i'm almost like halfway into the task uh, this is my progress and thank you so much for okay, okay great thank you Biniam, for sharing next we have uh we have Melat tashwama uh, good morning guys i guess you guys can hear me good yeah, uh, yes, we can. Your your voice is a, is a bit far, but yes, we can. Oh, okay. So uh, yesterday I was able to set up all the environment, the Docker, the uh, work, I mean, the airflow, as well as the Redash. I just installed it. I haven't really started working on it, though. Um, I've also installed the DVT part. Uh, so I was successful in doing this, though I haven't really uh, started loading the data and doing all the transformation tasks that, that I was supposed to be doing. Um, yeah, th this is what I did yesterday. Uh, this is it, so thank you. Okay, thank you, Melat. So how are you progressing on today's task? Are you confident to be uh, submitting all uh, assignments today? I think I am, but I'm really not sure. Though I, I feel like I can do it. I can be submitting all the tasks. You can also ask uh, people for help if you need any help. And uh, yes, next we have um, Ms. Kano Berihun. Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, so yesterday uh, I tried to to install Airflow and to load the to load the data on the on the PostgreSQL database. Yeah, I'm also facing the same problem uh, as most of the most of my mates. So I'm trying to fix that. And my plan for today is I have to submit the assignments and to load the data on on the PostgreSQL database. So you'll be submitting all assignments today? Yes, yes. Great. And next we have uh, Abel Bakkala. Hello, guys. Uh, so uh, yesterday uh, I was able to install all the necessary uh, tools that we would be using for this uh, week tasks especially the dvt and the airflow uh, using docker so after that i try to uh, understand the data more which means uh, there are uh, two uh, github packages provided within our document uh, those uh, i i advise everyone to go and see those uh, packages github packages because they kind of visualize and interact with the data which means you will understand what to expect within the data so uh, I recommend that. After doing that, I was able to understand the data more, and I stringified the CSV data and uh, loaded it in my database. Uh, 
even though it's not quite accurate, uh, I'm planning to transform it uh, using the DVD, which is the actual purpose of this week's uh, task. So uh, the blockers I'm facing is basically uh, trying to create free accounts in which I can deploy my DVD. Uh, as I can see, that's the final requirement for this week. And I'm having a hard time uh, finding a free uh, Postgres uh, database hosting platform. So that's the block currently I'm facing. Uh, so today I'm hopeful that I would be able to finish my task on time and uh, provide deliver the assignments. So that's it by me. Thank you. Thank you, Abel. Um, please don't hesitate to forward your question on the channel. I'm sure uh, there are so many people who want uh, to help. So. Next, we have uh, Nasrallah Hassan. Nasrallah, if you can speak, you can also type it. Okay, she's she's saying she can't speak today. It's okay. Uh, next, we have Yuftahe Gazal. Yoftahi Gazal, can you speak? If not, you can let us know in, in the comment section. Okay, let's move on to Mora Mora Onita. Okay, uh, and then next we have Mikias Leul. Hi, everybody. Uh, is my voice audible enough? Yes, yes, it is. Okay, uh, I think so far I did some uh, good things and I faced also some challenges, especially yesterday. Uh, on Monday, I was trying to understand uh, most of the new concepts about data, uh, warehouse, airflow, DPT, and I spent some time to understand or to gain the, the big picture, uh, how the different components work together to tackle these big tasks. Uh, and yesterday, uh, I faced some challenges, especially when I tried to uh, work on Hello. We lost you for a for a second. Yeah, yeah. Yesterday I faced some challenges when I was uh, trying to work on Docker and installing Airflow, uh, and then I tried to contact some of uh, the team members on Slack. Unfortunately, they didn't respond for me. Uh, but today, uh, I'm just really thankful. Uh, especially for Biniam, uh, who is my peer mentoring. He he provided me a step-by-step -step procedure and it works uh, really well for me. And I'm now on the process of installing Airflow and I'm sure I will uh, proceed to the tasks and uh, I'm sure I will uh, submit uh, the deliverables for today. Okay, great, Mikias, and thank you, Biniam, for providing answers to Mikias. And next, we have uh, Kerod, Kerod Sisai. Kerod, how are you reaching in the channel? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I didn't hear what you said, uh, Rodolf. Can you repeat? Yeah, I was saying that uh, Kero has 
already written in the channel. She said, I am going through the same problem as many of my peers. I'm having trouble loading the data, but I'm making progress. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Rodolf. And can you also tell us uh, on your what's your progress so far? Uh, me? Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Rodas. Um, yesterday, I was facing a problem with the uh, airflow. And finally, after many hours, uh, I fixed the problem. And uh, um, I tried to, to create my first DAG. And uh, after uh, creating this one, uh, it, is not yet, it does not yet appear in the uh, in the interface in the uh, GUI, but I'm trying to figure out the reason why. And apart from that, I install also dbt and while testing uh, the the command uh, dbt around, um, is telling me that the, uh, the a given file is not found, even though the that file is created and the file the file is not empty. It is, uh, I mean, it is full of information, but it's telling me that it's not found. So I've, I will figure out the reason why, and if there is no problem about that one, I will keep progressing, and surely uh, I will submit something today. I'm full of energy to progress. Thank you, guys. Okay, thank you, Rodolf. Uh, and next, we will just have two people. Uh, we have Abraham, Abraham Matis. Hey team, how's everybody doing? So uh, yesterday uh, I tried to install some of the tools like the Airflow and DBT uh, using Docker, but uh, I uh, encountered some uh, issues. I'm still working on that. And uh, today, uh, hopefully I will install, I will finish up installing the Airflow and try to uh, load the data into the Postgres. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Abraham. And then next we have Abdul Rahman Ahmed. If you can speak, you can also type Abdul Rahman. Okay, we can go to Abdul Hamid Musa. Good morning, team. How are you guys doing? So yesterday I went ahead and tried installing DBT. I also uh, loaded the data to my database. And today I am uh, trying to uh, have my docs available. And uh, uh, hopefully I will be able to uh, submit assignments on time. Thank you. OK, thank you, Abdul Hamid. Anyone who wants to go, uh, just in case you just in case you didn't have the chance, you can. OK, uh, yeah, yeah, you, you can speak up. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, so yesterday, as everybody uh, had ups and downs, uh, I was able to install Airflow and DBT. Uh, the, the, the problem is integrating these two into uh, Docker. Uh, I think, I, I believe that's what uh, most of us are struggling with. So I'm trying to figure that out. Uh, if that is done, then the, the rest is uh, finished because I have uh, the uh, the DAGs and the, the models already done. Uh, regarding the, the data, uh, it was messy. Uh, so if you uh, load it with just Panda read CSV, you will have uh, a series data, not, not a data frame. That's because you didn't use the delimiters. The delimiter means the separator between the, the spaces. And that's not a comma. Uh, when we say read CSV, it takes it as uh, 
uh, uh, comma separated. So if you use just semicolon space, you will have the data frame easily. And then you can load it to the uh, Postgres. Uh, so that, that was what I did yesterday. Uh, so today I will try to dockerize these two together. Hopefully it will work. Yeah, that's in my side. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Yaya, for sharing what worked for you. And also you can uh, share it on the Slack channel as well. And uh, do we have anyone else who would want to go? Uh, can I ask Yaya right quick? Of, of course, of course. Uh, hey, Yaya, so uh, I did, I did uh, set the delimiters to a semicolon so, so that I could get all of the uh, columns uh, and uh, all of the columns separated. But still, I was running. Uh, it's after that that uh, I was running into the extra data more than the column error. Did you also run into uh, that? Or yeah, did you yeah. You you, okay. you didn't dig deeper. <laughs> I mean, Madam Bytel corner. Sorry, uh, the the separator is not just semicolon. It's semicolon space. Uh, that yes, that, yes, that yes, was yes, the yes, problem. Yes. Okay. Did, did so, use, what I did just... was, I did see one space after the semicolon, but uh, I didn't think it was a major problem because uh, even if even if I separated it by using the semicolons, I would have columns that has that, that have uh, one one space uh, before the, the the column names. I didn't think that was uh, going to be a problem. Were you able to fix it after? Just uh, getting rid of the space after the column. Should I try that? Uh, yes. Uh, maybe can I share my screen for a second? I don't know. I, I would love it if you shared your screen if uh, Rodas would allow it because Rodas, it's a lot of people's of, problem. Of course, you can share your screen. Yes, your, your screen. All right. Okay. Uh, let me just open Jupyter Notebook. Wow. All right, in the screen. Uh, can you see it? I, I don't see anything. No, not yet. What about now? Yes, it's yeah. No, can you see really? the picture? Is it is it me or? Can anyone else see? Me, I can't see it. No, no. No, we, we yeah, can't that, see it. That's the problem of Ubuntu. Let me just try again. Uh, it's not sharing. I don't know why. No. Oof. Can you try sharing like a specific window? Not like your whole screen, maybe? Yeah, I'm trying that, but... Even the, the share button is not active. Choose a different screen. Share. It was supposed to allow me. Uh, maybe I will put the a screenshot on Slack. Yeah. Okay, the, great. The, that, that will be good, okay. Yeah, the, you 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 would say index call is equals to false, and then the delimit equals uh, semicolon space. That that's what I did, and um, yeah, I, I will I will put that on Slack. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Yaya. And I think we're uh, we're almost out of time. So. Uh, 
what else do we have announcements uh week three will be starting on january 2 so you have the next week off uh what else do we have uh we will we we will have our fir our first submission for a week two today uh you already know i think that's all uh if you have any questions uh, you can reach out to me and the team as well and i think it's going good so far and i would also uh, encourage you to participate in the cbs session uh, we do need more participation uh, yes i think that's all have a good day and we will be starting our first session for today after 10 minutes 10 to 15 minutes so yes have a good day everyone and thank you so much